Right, good morning. It is day 72. Just kind of wanted to give you an update on what happened yesterday. So, my shoulder has been bothering me the last few days. And uh, from carrying the extra water and food, I think. And so it got to the point um, on day 70 at the end of the day that it was hurting pretty bad. And then throughout the night I was waking up with the throbbing and... Um, made the decision to hike back. Uh, we were like 1.8 miles from the Kelso Road water cache and uh, had camped there and I made a decision to, to hike back to the road and um, get a ride out yesterday rather than trying to do another 34 miles and try to and tear something in my shoulder. So, so yeah, that's what I did. Uh, Potholes and Moneymaker went on and they should be getting to Walker Pass today. I um, was able to get a hold of a trail angel, luckily through the uh, potholes, and my sister helped me uh, through using my inReach and contacting somebody from the uh, Walker Pass trail angel page. And uh, a nice man named Bob came and picked me up at the Kelso Road and brought me into Ridgecrest. So went went to the ER last night and got my shoulder checked out. And I have a uh, uh, let's see what's it called, uh, brachial, break, I don't remember, brachial, uh, flexus, I think, compression, injury, I don't know, it's pinching nerves in my shoulder, and it's really tender, and it's hard to move my arm in certain directions, so anyway, um, just, uh, gonna rest it for a few days and ice it, and and uh, I think it'll be better in a few days. I think it's inflamed <clears throat> and just needs me to not be carrying my pack for a few days. And hopefully it'll be good to go. So our plan is to uh, go to Lake Isabella. I have a, a ride coming here shortly. And i uh, uh, going to go to the RV park in Lake Isabella and wait for Moneymaker and potholes to get there we have to wait till Monday to get to the post office to get our packages that we had sent and then we're also waiting for River Wolf um, who is behind us on this last section and not sure where he is I haven't had contact with him in a couple of days so hopefully he'll catch up with us and then we're gonna be heading to Ashland we're gonna skip the Sierras for now in Northern California and try to hike Oregon northbound and then um and then figure out we might go southbound after that from oregon back to the sierras or we might continue on and do washington we haven't decided yet so it's kind of our plan they'll give me a a few days of rest uh, from hiking and hopefully this my arm will get better and my shoulder yeah so it's hot here it's about 90 degrees and it's supposed to get up to 105 here by Wednesday. So thank goodness we'll be out of here by then. Hopefully Monday. Um, our plan is to take a bus from Lake Isabella to Bakersfield. And either rent a car or take the Amtrak to Ashland. Uh, so we're trying to decide what, find out what's going to be cheaper. So anyway, I'll keep you updated. All right, so we're at the Even RV Park, camping over here, fire pit, and a rec room to hang out. There's some bathrooms and showers and garbage over there. People that live here in their RVs. Uh, not a bad place. It's fifteen dollars a night. Um, to stay here in Lake Isabella. They are pretty strict on the rules, so if that's an issue for you, then you probably shouldn't stay here, but for $15, and that includes showers, you have to pay extra for towel and laundry, but it's a good price. It's about a mile from the rest of town to get food and groceries and stuff, so we're gonna go in and get something to eat here shortly. The manager here does give rides into town like once a day, I think, and I think she's going in a little later, but, um, but yeah, they're pretty strict when you get here, just on, 
I don't know, just just little rolls, and I think they've had some problems before with past hikers. Um, and since there's people that live here, I'm sure they're trying to keep their, you know, them happy, which I don't blame them. So as far as quiet time and and uh, who comes in and out of here and just keeping the place clean and tidy, um, they're pretty strict. So which is fine. I mean, we won't, we won't have any issues with that. So. We're just here to sleep and hang out for cheap until we um, can get to the post office on Monday. Uh, I had an amazing trail angel, uh, Megan, came and picked me up from Ridgecrest. So thank you, Megan. And uh, gave me a ride here on the way. She was stopping at Walker Pass to uh, do some trail magic. And we got there right before money maker and potholes were were coming into walker pass so it was awesome we got to pick them up and bring them with us so they just were able to take showers and do laundry too and so we're back together um river wolf is uh in ridgecrest right now so uh hopefully we can hook back up with him this weekend too and see what his plan is and if he's gonna go to oregon with us so we're gonna run into, there's supposed to be a restaurant in town that's pretty good, so we're gonna go in there and get something to eat. Uh, my shoulder's still hurting, but I'm just trying to give it a break. I had to wear my pack a little bit, just for a short time today, and uh, definitely it's still hurting, so wanna spend the whole day tomorrow without having to wear it, and and uh, Monday and do my best to not, you know, have to carry it around. Um, and try to give it a few days rest and hopefully the swelling will go down so I can start hiking again when we get to Oregon so yep that's the plan I think it's day 72 um, so we'll talk to you soon this is my dinner where were we at? what's this place Nelda's. Um, Nelda's Nelda's we are at Nelda's in Lake Isabella look at these yeah. burgers what kind of burger do you have called Olds? Uh, bacon burger, cheeseburger. She's got a bacon cheeseburger. I got western, western burger. Oh, western burger, look at that. Mm. Yeah, and we have milkshakes. These onion too. rings are amazing. I got fried chicken, cottage cheese, onion rings, yeah, like a, a milkshake, and then I get the syrup <laughs> too. Good morning, it's day 72. And these two look like a couple lizards. <laughs> <laughs> push ups. <laughs> doing their morning stretch. Oh, what? Money oh. maker is doing like girl push ups. I'm not sure what he's doing. <laughs> he's trying to do it he's new here. to the stretching <laughs> thing, but he's just trying to fit in. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we are at the Haven good. Most guys RV Park. That. Do what? And uh, it's going to be hot today. So it's going to up to like 89 here. We are going to walk into town a mile, a mile and a half. Got to stretch for that mile. To eat the restaurant we ate it last night. What's that place called in the Dells? Uh, the damn Colonel? No, we're not going to Nels? the damn Colonel. No. Nadine's, Nadell's, or Nels, something. something like that. I don't know. It's a Nadel's, good restaurant. We ate there last Nadel's night. Nadell's Diner. Nadell's Diner. Yeah. And they have. This is the first time I've like ever searched. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So we, we're, we have a zero today because we're waiting for the post office to open tomorrow. So we're just going to eat, rest. Oh, hey. Probably eat again. <laughs> Good morning, it's, uh, I don't know, day, I think, 74, maybe, not sure, but, uh, we're at the Haven RV Park still, um, just getting packed up, getting, it's like 7.15 in the morning, but the post office doesn't open until 10, so, I don't know, we're just, uh, getting stuff ready, probably go have some breakfast, and then we'll... Get down to the post office, get our packages, and, and uh, catch a bus to Bakersfield. You know, might go into town and have some breakfast if there's something close to the post office. So, yeah, um, 
It's supposed to be a hot one today. Um, ready to leave this place. I wouldn't recommend this. Um, I don't know. They turned the sprinklers on this morning. Got our tents wet. Kind of annoying. My shower I took yesterday was cold water. Powell's got hot water this morning, but yeah, it's just not super hiker friendly. So anyway, uh, it is what it is. It was cheap, so it did. It was a place to stay, you know, until uh, for the weekend. And it's gonna be hot in Oregon too. That's what I'm hearing. Um, which, I mean, it's good as far as the snow melting, but I think it's supposed to be in the upper 90s this week, so that's gonna be fun. Whole new adventure. And uh, River Wolf was coming to town to say goodbye this morning and get some packages too. Um, I don't think he's gonna be going with us, so uh, we'll say our goodbyes today and maybe we'll run into him later on somewhere. And uh, yeah, ready to get back out on trail. My shoulders feeling okay. I still feel, it, feel like it needs a few days. It's not, I, can, I mean, I can still feel it's sore. Try not to carry my pack around and stuff and just not use it and let it rest. So hopefully it'll be good to go by the time we're ready to get back on trail. Got all our packages uh, from the post office and got all my snow gear um, other than my ice axe. I'm not sure if I'm going to need that, but I uh, got a resupply from Maureen. Thank you, Maureen. That was awesome. Appreciate it. And uh, got my waterproof socks, my gators, my micro spikes, my bug net. Mosquitoes are horrible up there right now, so I'm going to be needing that. Oh, now it's about trying to figure out what I can live without in my pack so it's not too heavy. So. We are on the bus to Bakersfield. We haven't started yet, but we're in the back seat. Right, because we're rebels. Here's all our packs. Linda. <laughs> Here's the other hiker trash on the bus. <laughs> What's your names again? Blue, Blue Bird, and Anna. 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 And, um, you guys also from? going to Ashland, so. Where are you two from? We are still on the bus. On the way to Bakersfield, and the driver thinks he's the new store driver. And he's driving us crazy, like we're on these cars. And we're super fast. Yeah, it's quite the adventure, and we're like, we think this is the Burn River. Money maker, what did you order? 
Uh, double double with onion and a mofai and a large chocolate shake. Mm, sounds good. Mm -hmm. I got a hamburger fries no. shake and a she, coke. She got a oh, thing yeah. of ketchup. I ketchup. And that's it. That's all I get. You have a problem.
Tuesday night, about five o'clock. Uh, we've got just got done with our resupply and uh, returned the car. Had lunch. Uh, got a ride over from Medford to Ashland. Uh, sent some stuff home uh, out of our packs to try to reduce weight a little bit since we added a bunch of stuff to it. And we are now at the Timbers Motel in Ashland. Um, it's still in the high 90s here. I think it got up to 101. So it's still really warm out. So we are just going through our packs and getting ready to leave tomorrow. We got a ride from a trail angel already that's going to pick us up at 8.15 in the morning. And we're going to head to Callahan's Lodge and start hiking north tomorrow. And it's going to be hot all week. So we're hoping it's a little bit cooler and that we'll have some forest. I'm not really sure what the terrain's like yet, but we're hoping we'll be somewhat in the forest. So we'll have some shade and yeah, hopefully we can get some miles in and uh, packs are going to be heavy. I'm not sure how my shoulder is going to do yet, so hopefully it'll do all right and uh, we can uh, start making some progress. So I'm sitting outside and just realized my freaking ankles are super swollen. I don't even know why. Other than it must be the heat. I've never had swollen ankles. I have like cankles right now. This is crazy. <laughs> 